Hey everybody, me Bryson Booker one more time with a review on some of the most awesome headphones of the past two. These are the best out of the all three of them. These are the best. These are the Audio Technica ATH dash M2X M2X digital monitor headphones. Uh, these headphones are absolutely stunning. Um, I They're old. Um, these have been, geez, uh, in my church for a long time. And, well, their original intention, which they're still the original intention for them, was I, I use them to, um, I'm a live sound engineer, so I use these to, so, anything I need to solo and hear through these, I'm able to do that. But just for maybe if we record something and I want to hear what we recorded, I can plug these in and listen to them. That was mainly their original intent. But you can also use them for general music listening purposes, which I have done all this week, and I'm just blown away. Um, they can do more than monitor, guys. These guys can do so much more. But first, look how long this cord is. This is... Wow. Look, look at it. Mean, just keep going, and yeah, here we go. Here's the end. But um, there's your uh, 3.5 millimeter plug to go into your uh, laptop, iPod, iPod, iPhone. But it also came with a quarter inch adapter, which I use to collect to connect to my sound equipment. But this is a very long cord, and they basically these headphones were designed uh, for um, monitoring. Uh, basically, what I use them for, to solo my mixes, if you're in the studio and you're doing something with them. So, because many times when you use normal headphones like this, you don't have enough cord to go from wherever these are plugged up to your mixer. But these, you have plenty of cord to go from maybe an audio box to your mixer. So you, you don't have to be standing at the audio box steady listening to the headphones. You can actually... Keep these headphones at your mixer. They're plugged up in the audio box, so every time you want to hear what's going on, you can do that. Um, they did have a headband, but uh, sadly to say, uh, the headband uh, broke. Um, and I'm going to get into that when I talk about durability, which I might as well talk about now. As far as the headphone designs themselves, obviously they don't come in the box like this. Uh, it's missing the headband. And, um, well, the design, they have a flat design, they're open back headphones. So that means uh, they're going to leak some sound. They're going to really leak some sound, guys. Uh, when you're using these, if you tend to use these for general music listening purposes, please note that your neighbor may hear Metallica coming from you. Just to let you know. Or if you have any other loud music, they may hear it. Uh... And that's due to this open back um, design of the headphones. The ear cups are soft, um, but they, they kind of get uncomfortable after a while. So if you're going to use these, you might want to use them for... Uh, I wouldn't use them for a whole road trip. I'll just put it that way. Because they'll get a little bit uncomfortable after a while. Um, but durability... Uh, as far as the back of the ear cups, it's fine, but these guys aren't that durable, um, especially the headband. It, it kind of feels, the design of them really feels cheap when it came to everything being connected together on that headband. The design felt cheap, really. Uh, if you dropped them on the ground once, they would basically explode and break. Um... One, I think, actually one time, this whole thing, uh, this whole cup came off, and you could you could see the diaphragm in there. Um, but they're not really that durable. They weren't designed to be thrown around and things like that. You really, you really have to be careful with these. And uh, putting the, this pad comes off too. So when this comes off, it's kind of difficult to get it back on. Um... Yeah, it took me a good five minutes to 
put this back on and for it to stay on. But it takes a minute for that too. So durability is kind of an issue. I wouldn't use these if you're the kind of person that are rough with your headphones. Um, I actually prefer them without the headband because it was kind of cumbersome when I really needed to hear something super fast just to put the whole headphone on my head and then adjust it and blah, 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 blah. Uh, well, when I removed the headband, I could easily just pick up one cup, hear what I need to mix, put the cup back down, we're good to go. Um, I don't really need both um, ear cups on when I'm mixing live, live sound. However, for music listening purposes, I would prefer having both of them on, and that's where it kind of gets a little, dang it, I lost the darn headband, because when I'm listening to music, then I have to do this. And that gets pretty annoying. So, it, it really depends on your intent for these headphones. If you're using them to listen to music only, yeah, keep the headbone on, he headband on, you might want to do that. But if you're like me, and you, while you're mixing, you really don't have time to put the whole headphone on. You just want one ear cup to go in and out. Well, the headphones themselves are removable from the ear cup, from the uh, headband, my bad, from the headbands. So you can do that, and then you can just pop and go. But make sure you don't break the earband when you do that. <laughs> but enough of this uh, durability. The cord is long, like I say. This is not really a good thing if you're using this for your iPhone because you have too long of a cord. I know we all like long cords. I mean, enough to go from the earbuds to having enough room in your pocket to hold your iPhone and pull it out and change your song, whatever. Well, these are kind of overdoing it if you're using these for normal listening purposes. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're just sitting in front of your laptop with these plugged in, you probably won't even care about the cable length. I mean, you could probably sit at, have the headphones on and maybe go slide over to the kitchen and get you some popcorn or slide over and grab the TV remote. You have enough cable to do that. Trust me. <laughs> but if you're walking outside with these headphones, I wouldn't recommend doing that because the cord is just too long and you'll have to stuff a whole bunch of cord in your pocket and it tangles up everything and bleh, nah, 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 nah. you don't want that so they basically did the long cord for their for the headphones original intent which was to be basically personal studio monitors for whatever and that leads to the sound the sound on these guys is absolutely incredible now, Audio-Technica Audio has improved on their headphones from this time. I mean, these once again, these guys are old. Uh, I believe these are from the early 2000s, if I'm not mistaken. I think they still sell these, too. But they came out in the early 2000s, and at that time, the sound was excellent. Still today, the sound is great. But Audio-Technica has greatly improved with the other headphones that they have. But with that being said... You're going to get some awesome stereo on these headphones. The stereo separation of the instruments and vocals on these are amazing. Amazing. They have a warm sound that I love. Just a warm sound. Nothing's too shrill. Because on some headphones you can listen to, some headphones sound shrill. They really do. Either the highs are, are too much, the mids make the vocals sound muddy, and are the bass is just overwhelming. These guys tie it in all together. It's warm. It's just great. The highs are nice and blended. They're not over they're not overbearing, but they're there. The mids kind of shape that sound and then the bass is once again the foundation for the for the mix or whatever you're listening to. That bass is going to be the foundation and stay the foundation. It's not going to be overwhelming. The mids are going to stay in their place. Everything is going to stay where it should be in these headphones, making them balance. And that's great. Uh, from a live sound perspective, those of you who want to buy these headphones, maybe in for the studio or live sound use, like me, they're great. Vocal clarity sounds awesome on these things. If I need to solo a vocal or a couple of vocals, I can hear the vocal clearly. Uh, there's no problems there. When I'm doing a whole mix, 
and I need to hear the whole mix for some reason, the whole mix sounds clear. Everything stays where it should be. There's nothing overbearing about it. It's a nice, warm sound that you can only get from professional products like these headphones. I would recommend picking them up. For music lovers and professionals like me alike, the Audio-Technica digital monitors are meant for digital sources, meaning CD, MP3, whatever you want to use them for, they'll do perfect and they'll excel. Um, I'm a stickler about sound, so these headphones are definitely in my top five for headphones. These definitely, I, I love them. I love these in my bows, but I'm, I'm telling you, I think these can probably beat bows. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm a bows guy. Trust me, I'm a bows guy. These can kick bows' butt. I'm telling you. Definitely. Give them a try, and you make the judge. They're the Audio Technica AT, the name's kind of hard to say, ATH M2X digital monitor headphones. Awesome headphones from Audio Technica. Go pick them up. And then compare them, compare them to Bose and see how they do. 